The FDA has approved a new blood test that can detect whether a mother will get preeclampsia within 30 minutes, a dangerous complication characterized by high blood pressure. Yeah, the test could save lives in a state where women are twice as likely to die from pregnancy-related causes. Fox 5's Eric Mock shows you why experts say this could be a game changer for saving lives in the Peach State. Well, according to the CDC, from 2018 to 2021, Georgia had the seventh highest amount of maternal deaths in the nation. And experts tell me preeclampsia is one of the leading causes of those deaths. So a test that can quickly tell you whether or not you'll get preeclampsia could potentially save a lot of lives. I was very excited because you can imagine as a high-risk OB doctor, a lot of my patients have preeclampsia. Dr. Champa Woodham is the president of the Georgia OBGYN Society and professor of maternal phenol medicine at Augusta University. She says the new blood test approved by the FDA in May is just the breakthrough they've been looking for. It's one of the more common um, disease processes that I have to manage. And the issue has been it's so hard to predict who is going to develop it. Dr. Woodham says the disease is especially prevalent in Georgia. Black women are also three to five times more likely to get preeclampsia than white women. And detecting preeclampsia quickly is critical. A woman can go from completely being asymptomatic, feeling completely normal, Eric, to within 24 to 48 hours, developing brain swelling, liver and kidney failure, and dying. That's Dr. Ravi Thadhani, Executive Vice President for Health Affairs at Emory University. He actually worked on the study that led to the FDA's approval of the test. He says not only does the test quickly determine whether someone may be at risk for preeclampsia, but it does so very accurately. This, te this test has over a 95% negative predictive value and an African-American woman 99%. In other words, if the test is negative, the chance of her getting sick in the next two weeks is less than 1% in African-American women and less than 5% in, in Caucasian women. Well, right now, Dr. Tarani says it's only approved for use in hospitals and for those patients with high blood pressure. But Dr. Woodham said if you're pregnant and you start having elevated blood pressure or a headache that won't go away no matter what medication you take, let your doctor know immediately and have them test for preeclampsia. For now reporting in Atlanta, Eric Mock, Fox 5 News.